Hey Toasties, Connor Canine here. When your conference chair, Lino, asked me to present on adding humour to your presentation, I have to say that I was as happy as Ram Emanuel watching a new red light camera going into Chicago. For the safety of the children, of course. That, my friends, is just one example of how you can add humour to your presentation through either current affairs or pop culture. And indeed, that's an example that I used just a couple of weeks ago when I was speaking at the Donald Trump Association for Political Correctness. There actually wasn't a lot of people at that event, I have to say. But seriously, that is just one example of the kind of material that you will learn in my presentation on adding humour to your presentation. And if you can leave understanding how you can take current affairs or pop culture and drop them into your presentation, it is going to work. And it's going to get, help you to get better audience reaction. The great Mark Twain said, Against the assault of laughter, nothing can stand. And if you can bring some humour into your presentation, if you can get your audience laughing or grinning from time to time, you're going to connect better with your audience and you're going to be able to get your message resonating better with your audience as well. As I said, that's one example of what we will cover. Another example of what we will cover, and I'll illustrate this by first asking a question. I'm looking for a word that has five letters that you do when I say something funny. No, it is not wince, is what I'm looking for. The word I'm looking for is laugh, L-A-U-G-H. And I will provide you with an acronym that spells laugh that will provide you with five really good tips to help you craft humorous material for your presentation. So those are just five and one six of the 10 things that I've promised Lena I would present on. I've now got to try and figure out what the other four are. But we'll come to them, don't you worry. Finally, if you're hesitating at all about going to this conference, remember that the main keynote speaker is David Brooks. And David Brooks comes from a state that is famous for great orators. People like George W. Bush, Rick Parry, and uh, there's a third one, I think. But anyway, irrespective of, of that, David Brooks has been on the circuit for 26 years. Not because he was world champion in 1990. He keeps getting asked back and providing good presentations because the man always provides good content. And if you're looking for someone to bring your skills to another level, he is one person that will help you at this spring conference. Hopefully, the material that I would provide will also help you to add better material and help you in your Toastmasters journey, maybe winning humor speech competitions, maybe adding to your international speech competition material, but all of it is going to be of great benefit. So, Connor Kaneen, wishing you the very best for your spring conference. I will travel all the way from Naperville for this event, and I'm looking forward to it. And I seeing many of my friends at District 54. Take care, my friends, and we'll see you soon. Rock and roll. Bye.